Something that people ask me very regularly is how do I actually physically go about getting myself trained up and on the water and able to use a boat? It's an extremely good question. It's something that people need to take seriously and that is training. So what we're doing today is with Marianne and we're also with Seb from Torquay Water Sports and we're actually putting Marianne through a level two powerboat course, which is basically like a kind of driving license for a boat. It's everything you need on a practical basis to be able to actually own a boat and go boating. And we're going to show you guys exactly what's involved in doing this. It's about a two day course and um, yeah, it will hopefully end up with Marianne here able to actually handle and drive and go boating on her own. So stay with us and we'll show you what it's all about. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Cool. Yeah, so we'll just get familiar with where things are on the boat, then we'll uh, start her up and slip her off this um, sort of pontoon. So we've got our anchor, which um, we'll play around with later on. But the anchor, um, I'm just checking it's tied on and secure. So we started off with a little bit of theory with Seb showing Marianne basics of charts and tides and the kind of things you need to know before you can get on board of a boat. And now he's running through the basics of the boat with her and then we're going to get on with some actual hands-on training. Yeah, yeah. Should be an interesting day. Yeah, you sort of hear us speaking a complete different language to you. So, the, so the balance there. Yeah. Actually an inflatable boat with a, you know, this one's got a canopy on it and a certain amount of safety equipment inside. So it's something you would deploy in an emergency. We've got we a fire on board here, a stress signal for daytime use only. Okay. So this is going to give you some orange smoke. It tells you how to yep. um, release it, and screw that, pull the, the pin, and then hold. Obviously, downwind. Put in there. Um, and this bag contains our first aid kit in there. Um, so again, these parts are interesting. Have a look. So very important, before you start the engine, check it's in neutral we just want to plan how we're going to get off this ramp so to do that because when we um let go of the rope that's holding us on it's just going to slide back all right so i don't know if you can see we're on some pontoons and we're held at the front so and what's important with this um bow line is that we tie it back on the boat okay so we're going to tie that off because we don't want it to drop in the water okay. whilst we're going along So when I manoeuvre the boat, so a big thing to remember, it doesn't really steer very well without being in gear. It won't do much. Okay. So what I need to do is get the engine angle the way I want it and then engage the gear. So if I want to go backwards that way, I turn the engine that way and then I put it in gear. And you see it turns then instantly that way. So always remember, put the engine in the right angle first and then gear. All right. Okay. Go into there and then it goes into gear and it's at slow speed and I'm going to just increase the speed slightly and then adjust the speed. So normally you can just keep it in tick over like this. If you've got a bit of wind pushing, pushing it, sometimes you need a little bit of extra throttle just to push it through the wind. So unhappy. <laughs> right, where do you want me to go? We'll have a little play around here. We'll just keep an eye out for boats. Obviously, always keeping a good look around you. So, obviously, we don't want to go forward here. So, we, if we want to go that way, get the engine steered so you'll go that way. That's it. And then engage the gear. That's it. You can see it instantly turns then. Oh, you've got to go a long way up for it to. Yeah. So it's all the way from like. Okay. Yeah. I understand. That's where you have to get used to it, really. Yeah. So, okay, that's yeah. neutral. You can hear that difference in turning the engine. Yeah, that's it. Get back in neutral. No, you can keep turning because you're hard over now. You can keep. You can feel it will lock as it gets full, full over. That's it. It's just the turning distance of the boat. Now, what sort of distance can you turn in? So, is that way now going off that way? So, let's try a turn to starboard. Hard over.
fast, as you can say. <laughs> you can't do what, Troy? You can't go too fast in reverse, otherwise it all swaps on the boat. So you can keep the speed down. That's it. Keep the speed down. Remember, the faster you go, the more quick you're going to have to react. So if things start to go a bit wrong, they'll go wrong a lot quicker. All right, so keep going. Try and keep yourself in the middle of the channel here. Um, I think you're going sideways. So why am I going sideways? Hang on, I just need to stop and stop and think. Why am I going sideways? Okay, so if you, if you think, if you point the engine to where you want to go, that's the best way to think of it. So you want to okay. go to the middle over there, so you're pointing the engine there, that's it. That starts to turn into position. All right, so keep the engine pointing where you want to go. Now, you will notice I mean, if you glance at the bow, just have a quick glance at the bow. Look at the position of the bow <coughs> compared to the middle of the boat here. So keep the boat, the boat is going correctly, you're doing great, you're getting it to steer towards there. But this is the the problem here reversing yeah. is what, what what's happening is the wind is catching the bow right. so the wind's blowing the bow there's die. nothing to stop the bow blowing off <laughs> <All right. laughs> so i deliberately got you to do that crosswind so you could see that effect of the bow getting blown downwind mm. excellent though that's cool so you can see it's not necessarily easier to steer <laughs> no. In reverse. no in fact thus far nothing's easy <laughs> what we're going to do next is we're going to start looking at um, doing a couple of manoeuvres coming alongside. All right, so just good practice manoeuvring the boat. And before we do that, we want to prepare the boat. So we're going to prepare, we're going to plan, and then we're going to do the manoeuvre. And then in the back of our heads, we're going to have a lot of escape room in case okay. it doesn't go right. So you can see on the water you're always moving. So even when you come into neutral like there, we're blowing down sideways. So if we take a take the boat out into the channel again, give ourselves some space, and we're just going to put some fenders out on the side of the boat to protect the sides. Okay. The wind will start to take control of you, so do a little dab in forward just to. That's it, going forward. Now, here, the back of the boat, so you, you're, you're going to come slowing down and you're drawing yourself into the pontoon. And not, not really a lot else you're going to have to do here, just a little dab in reverse as we get to the pontoon. That's it, that's enough. So, that's it, neutral now, neutral. Perfect, look, you stopped and you're alongside. <laughs> Excellent, well done. <laughs> well, I'm really still good. not. I need to do that again. Yeah, plenty of options. Oh, I'm doing that again. Take it out. Take so it out. Before you leave, just think about where the engine's pointing. So yeah. check your engine position. So I'm just so, going to get my, my, my bolts in order. So I want it to do, I want it to go out that, which means I have to do that. You, but I have, can't do it. Go that way, yeah. That so go way. fully that way. <laughs> Keep going, keep going with the engine, have it pointing right out. That's okay, it. Right. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm okay. We'll, we'll you, you'll see, yeah, I know you, you're tempted the bow is going to go into the yeah. engine, but into the pontoon. But because it, it's a pointed bow, it keeps clear. That's Ooh. it. Don't worry, you're okay. That's cool. The wind's taking it a little bit there. Okay. Okay. So, if you want to do it again, give yourself some room. It's good to have a, a bit of a lead up to it. Hang on. And that's the wind taking the bow. That's why you sort of feel like, oh, hang on, why is it yeah, not doing what yeah. I want? Now it's starting to react. Sometimes you just have to give it a little bit of time to react. Point the engine where you want it to go. That's it. Just give it a little dab in forward. Push it around, that's it, that's enough. And then look, you're coming in beautifully. And then all you'll need is steer to the pontoon like that, yeah. And then, boom. that's it, that's enough. And you stopped coming alongside, and then we would have our crew yeah. gone for the pontoon and tie us up. Perfect. Again! That's perfect. Again, again. <laughs> no, I have to get it right, but I have to. Excellent. And you 
want to get yourself a little bit further forward. So try to get yourself a little bit further forward yep. next time. When you engaged in reverse, you just probably do it a little bit early, which kept us yep. a little bit off the pontoon. To, to blast it into neutral. Yeah. I think you're still in reverse. Yeah. Okay. No, no. So, what was different about that time? Well, I put it in reverse, but nothing seemed to happen, and so I pushed it further down into reverse. And then that suddenly was, it seemed to. Yeah. And the reason I would say you needed to, or you felt you had to add that extra reverse, yeah. is because. The difference that time to the other times is you were a lot faster as you came in. Okay. You came into neutral a lot later. Okay. So you basically just didn't, I would say, take more speed off the boat. Okay. And then you got more time to think and react. Okay. Fine. Right. As you're coming in. So, okay. yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll just take the sails out again. I need to give it a bit of forward. You're going to have to, but you just get the engine in the right location, though. That's it, so it does what you want it to do. So, so you've got a little bit forward, that's it. Then you come off into neutral again. Now turn the engine the other way. This way. Into the pontoon, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So when you do use reverse, slow down. Oh. That's it, use the little nudge reverse. It goes in towards the pontoon. That's it, then neutral, you've stopped. Perfect, excellent. <laughs> Definitely so the link between you, this and the engine and and that, which is a bit hard for my head to get around. No, totally, but this is why you do a bit of practice. But yeah, you just affect, you know, obviously you're not just slowing down, but it affects yeah. you know, the angle of the boat, yeah. which way you have that engine. So, you know, if you have the engine pointing outwards, it's going to so turn the, the engine, boat that way. If this is the engine, the engine is pointing that way. If you go it, slow enough, then it actually gives you a lot of time to think it through it, as well. It, exactly, yeah. Now, at the moment, the wind's, you know, moderate. It's not too strong. It's not, not you know, there is a little bit of wind there. You sort of have to be careful if you're going too slow that the wind then okay, yeah, takes over, takes yeah. control of the boat. You've got to keep control yeah. yourself. So the windier it is, almost the more positive you need to be. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, because if we come in from this angle, we're turning the boat around. With basically, if we turn into the pontoon, the boat's going to go. The back of the boat's going to go out wide. So ideally, we okay. want to to get our sort of approach at the 45 degree angle. It would actually be best to go up there, turn the boat, and then come in exactly. Okay. Bone neutral. Essentially, the boat will just go this way. Right. Yeah, it will slowly drift this way. Um, so we're really you know when we get close to these boats we're going to get blown off them mm -hmm. all right now what we don't want to do is end up too close to these ones because they're they're the ones where we get blown down onto them so to turn we're going to turn ourselves into the wind so we make our shell we've got full lock on the engine is it fully over and yep. we're just going to nudge ourselves around in four gear okay then when we're running out of room we're coming to neutral it's coming to neutral okay now turn the engine fully the other way we're going to do basically a bit of a three point turn then reverse then look behind you, see how much space you've got behind you. You've got loads of space, so you can keep going reverse a little bit. That's fine. Then into neutral, you can keep the speed slow. Now before you go into gear, full turn the other way. So we've got full lock before we go into gear. Now into gear. Okay, and then we'll, we're gonna be nice and clear. So then you your approach. you're going to have to do here. It's, no, we wouldn't even worry about that because you're just drifting in nicely there. So you see the boat is just, just it's got that, with that turn yeah. it's just going to be a little bit. There's a bit more wind I'd have to give it a bit to be nice. Yeah but. exactly but that's perfect. So that's all you want. Just be alongside, stopped. Yep. Brilliant. 
What we'll do, if we try one more, and let's, um, this time we'll actually tie the boat on, just okay. so we can tie the boat on. Sorry. Oh, now I'm just okay. I'm just gonna make it up. <laughs> yeah. So you, the boat swinging backwards now. It, it will take time for it to straighten up here because it's got the wind pushing it that way and you're steering it that way. So now it's starting to straighten up. Just let it have time to sort itself out. Wind blowing you off. Yeah. Well, you'll probably find if you go reverse that way, the bow you'll lose the bow. Oh, okay. See how the bow's. Yeah. So essentially, when the wind's blowing you off more, you want to get your bow in closer. So you might want to here just reverse out. So turn the engine the other way. And that that's just um, a good example of when the wind starts to take over there. So the wind, the wind was blowing you off the pontoon. Yeah. So as soon as you stop. You went that way. So reverse out a little bit, so just, okay. just go through the whole thing again. Okay, then you can do your turn. Keeps on going into reverse. So go forward. What, what's happening here? I mean, yeah. you'll, you'll stop next to the pontoon, which is fine. <laughs> you know, I can step off. I can then, you know, attach us. But yeah. all that happened there. Is I completely lost control. Of, well, no, my, in, that in, control in the sense, that I didn't know what I was doing next. Yeah, totally. So you've got to decide at that point, yeah. you know, essentially you're sort of far back on the point here. Yeah. So you didn't really need reverse yet. Yeah. So what you needed really to do was just a little bit more of a dab in forward gear. Yeah. Just to, and then you can use that to turn the bow yeah. away from the pontoon yeah. and bring you alongside. Right here, turn the engine the other way, and then reverse. And then you see you're stopping and pulling the boat in. Now neutral. But the crew need to get off quite yeah, quickly here the because doing you, you, it. yeah, it doesn't matter how good you're coming alongside it, you need your crew to go in. Yeah. So come to neutral, reverse out of here again. And let's do a full a full coming alongside because this is good. This is basically the wind blowing you off and you're gonna have to get in closer to the pontoon. Right. So here I do a turnover, just a slight nudge in forward to bring the bow around. Just a slight nudge, that's it, that's enough. And then turn the wheel and then a bit into reverse and then just slow you down and pull you in. And then neutral. neutral. And then we can turn it Perfect. Brilliant. That is perfect. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> a stone line here again. O X O. That's enough. Um, now these obviously are just going to stop the boat going out and keeping us alongside. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly small boat. The cleats are sort of positioned fairly nicely for us here. Yeah. Um, but it won't stop the boat moving forward and backwards. So if you're leaving it for any amount of time, we'd want to put a spring line on, which also stops that forward and backwards okay. movement. Okay, there we go. Okay. Right, is it just courtesy, let them out the, first? The, normally, normally you would wait, yeah. Geordie, if, if they're coming past. So, so, yeah, just make sure it's clear to starboard. There we go. Okay, so you've got the one we just discussed, keeping on the starboard side of the channel. Um, overtaking boat always keeps clear. So right. if you're going to overtake something, um, the overtaking boat, duty to keep clear. And you maintain your course and speed. Okay. Um, when we're out on the water, general, the general rule is um, if, you're, if a boat is approaching you on the right, it's in the right. Oh, if it's coming to me from the right. So if you're approaching and you're sort of an angle like this, yeah. if 
you're sort of maintaining the same sort of angle, then you're going to be eventually on yeah. a, a collision. So within the rules, we have what's called the stand-on vessel and the giveaway vessel. Okay. All right. What's he doing? I think he's just going to reverse onto that ladder. Right. Just to get someone off, I presume. Um, so stand-on vessel, very clear that you keep your course and speed. Okay. All right. And then the giveaway vessel. So if in this situation, if that boat was coming yep. across us, you know, essentially they're on the right, they're in the right. So okay. they, um, so we are the vessel that needs to give way. Okay. And how we do that is we steer clearly, yeah. make a really distinct obvious turn, turn, really obvious turn, and go behind them. Okay. And if they maintain their course and speed, then, then I mean, obviously we've them. all got a duty to give way eventually. Yeah. Um, but it saves confusion, you know, with that situation when you're walking on the path and you're trying to avoid something yeah, that's coming yeah, towards you, you move, they move, you move, and they eventually hit each other. So, so that's what the rules are for, really. So on the right, in the right, and always just make your intentions clear.